Today I have a sculpture project for you that you'll find very unusual and very intriguing. It challenges your students to create an abstract sculpture emphasizing form, shape, and balance that can be viewed from any angle. It may remind you of contemporary glass sculpture. It's colorful, it's fluid, transparent, all of the qualities we look for in glass that attract us so much. But it's made with very simple, safe classroom materials, wire and paint. You can bend it, you can form it, you can change your mind and create your sculpture over and over and over again. Hi, I'm Julie Davis and today's project is called Flexible Glass Sculpture. We're going to begin with a piece of aluminum sculpture wire. This is 12 gauge aluminum sculpture wire. It comes on a 350 foot coil so you can get a lot of projects out of one. And it's very economical, easy to bend, cuts easily with scissors. We'll need to start with a closed form. So the first thing I'm going to do is close off my ends. Now you can just twist them close. I kind of like to take a pair of needle nose pliers and bend those edges over just so they're not sticking out too much. After you have them bent, then take your shape and start forming it in and out to make an intriguing, freeform, kind of organic looking shape like this. Press it against the tabletop in all areas. You want to get it as flat as possible. Now for each sculpture, I would make about three of these pieces. So I have a couple more that are already created over here. And you can see there are a variety of forms. Now it's time to fill them in with paint. We're going to need a sheet protector, a non-glare sheet protector. This has just enough texture on it that it won't stick to the paint. So we'll put our shape on top of the sheet protector. I like to use a piece of foam board or corrugated cardboard, a stiff board underneath there so that it can be moved easily from one place to the other. Next, we're going to need some paint. Today, I have with me PBO's Artie Stick paint. Artie Stick is kind of a unique product. It's a window clean paint. It dries transparent and flexible. Children use it to make their own window clings with it. I have a couple examples here. It remains transparent and flexible, always. And as you can see, it clings. It's non-toxic, low odor. It cleans up with soap and water while it's wet, but if you do get it on your clothes, please wash it off right away. It comes in 500 milliliter and 75 milliliter bottles. The most economical way to purchase it is to buy the large bottles and fill up a smaller bottle like this. Easy way to get it around the classroom. We begin by squeezing the Artie Stick paint directly from the bottle. And it's important that the paint comes in contact with the wire. So we start on the outside edge. If your hand isn't quite as steady as mine, you can always come back with a brush or a craft stick and you can push it up against that wire shape. If you go over the side, don't worry. That can always be trimmed away later or you may enjoy it as part of your sculpture. So once you have the contour formed like this, then you can come back in the center and start filling in some more paint. This can be done very quickly, very easily, like this. Once again, you can always come back in with a brush and spread the paint out. You'll use less paint that way. I'm just going to switch colors here for a minute. And this 
is actually a glitter paint. It has little bits of glitter inside of it. You'll be able to see that a lot better once it's dry. All right, now I like to take a brush then and I swirl my colors together and just fill in the spaces. This is a self-leveling paint as well. So I really don't need to worry that some areas are thicker than others. Just that everything is covered and there are no areas with holes in them. Now all of the paint looks opaque when it comes out of the bottles. The colors will all dry transparent, including the glitters that I just put in there. Those will all dry transparent. It's the black, the white, the silver, and the gold that remain opaque. Okay, I've made sure that this is all up against the wire. Now, you need to set this aside in a place where we'll be undisturbed for at least 24 hours. It could take longer if you have high humidity conditions. You'll know that the paint is dry when the colors are completely transparent. You may find thicker areas that look cloudy. Wait until everything looks transparent and then we take it off the paper. And I do have some samples over here that are dry and ready to go. So let's start with this one right here. You can see how I used some opaque gold with the transparent paints and swirled them together. It's really effective that way. Now we bend the pieces to make the components of the sculpture. That'll do for now. I can always come back and bend it some more if I don't care for it. And I'd put two, maybe even three or four, depending on the size of these pieces. Position them, move them, until you find them a pleasing arrangement. Like I say, this is a great way for students to learn how form and balance works together. Okay, well, after I have one option that I'd like to show you before we end this. If you're an adult, you may remember a product that was available back in the 70s that allowed you to make beautiful glass-like flowers by dipping wires into a certain type of paint. Well, you can achieve the same effect using the process that I've just showed you. To make this flower, I used a thinner wire. This is a plastic-coated twisties wire. I made a loop, painted it just as I just showed you, and then took each petal, twisted it together, and wrapped the entire piece with some green tape. Added just a little bit extra here in the middle for effect. You could just imagine a whole bouquet of these lovely glass-like flowers. Well, thank you so much for viewing our project today. I hope you enjoy making your flexible glass sculpture. If you look at the PDF that's available on our website, we've got some more photos for you to look at, a complete materials list, and the national standards for the visual arts education as it relates to this project. Thanks again. We'll see you later.